Hi! Um, so, this is a new channel for me, but I am not new to YouTube. Um, but I wanted to start um, a TTC channel to be separate from my other channel. So I just want to do a little introduction and um, yeah. So my name is Annie and I have um, another channel on here that is mostly about my health challenges. Um, I have a number of chronic health condition, conditions, including chronic Lyme disease and something called dysautonomia and gastroparesis. Um, and basically, the Lyme disease has been the cause or the instigator of, of pretty much everything else. Um, so I've been married now for almost five months. Um, it doesn't seem like that long, but at the same time, it seems like it's been a really long time. Um, I've been with my husband, Eric for almost three years now. Um, it'll be three years in the fall. And um, we are now in the process of trying to conceive our first child. And I've been trying to learn and read as much as possible and um, seeking out videos and, and everything. And so in doing that, um, I was inspired to you know share my own journey with this um, and have a community that I can share it with. Um, because it feels, you know, it feels funny to, to be talking about it in my daily life with the people that I'm around because it seems so ridiculous to, you know, talk about what cycle day you're on and, you know, when you think you ovulated and, you know, the two-week wait and all of that stuff that I've now, you know, found, kind of found a community that um, is going through similar things. So that's amazing. And I had that when I discovered the kind of health chronic illness community, um, so I'm excited to have that now for um, trying to conceive. Because of my health stuff, um, I've had to put a lot more planning and, and stuff into this, so there had to be some time to get off of certain medications that I'm on, and um, I'll talk more about that probably later, but um, it kind of made for a little bit of a process, um, and um, and I also am now, so I really want to use a, this birth center that's near, nearby, it's about a half an hour away. Um, I really don't want to be in a hospital, um, and because of my health stuff, I felt like I needed to start planning um, that and try to find, figure out, you know, what my options were ahead of time. So um, I went and visited this birth center, and there, the midwives there are now sending me to a maternal fetal specialist. Um, which I have an appointment with tomorrow, and, you know, that's just to kind of give his opinion, give his advice on whether or not it's safe and whether or not my health stuff qualifies me as being high risk or anything like that. We're in our second cycle of trying to conceive, and um, the first cycle was kind of a roller coaster ride. Um, we, we decided that we weren't really going to, um, you know, be really, I don't, I don't, I'm having trouble coming up with the words, but like, we were just kind of, kind of, kind of let it be what it was, and not, you know, not stress about it, and not be super, you know, serious about it, and looking at charting and all of that stuff, um, and, and for the most part, that was fine, but then, um, it led to, um, so what ended up happening last month, let me just start there, what ended up happening with the last cycle is that um, I apparently had my ovulation day wrong and um, so was expect it was a, I ended up with a super long cycle last month, this last cycle and um, didn't, like thought my period was due before it was and it just caused, you know, a week or more of stress and like not knowing and um, taking pregnancy tests and having them all come up negative but still not having my period show up and um, so it ended up that uh, my period came six days late um, making it my longest cycle that I think I've ever had um, it was only 35 days but it was still super long for me um, and so now I you know, it was a, a big letdown to, to have, you know, AF 
which is a weird term for me, but um, come after all of that and being so hopeful and, and all of that. Um, and I knew that it was unlikely that it would happen in the first cycle, but you know I was still really hoping and excited and all of that. So now we're on to the second cycle, and for this cycle I decided I wanted to be a little bit more just kind of aware of what's going on. So um, I've ordered some OPKs, and um, you know, just kind of want to learn to identify things better. Um, so that's kind of my goal. Not necessarily to stress about it and be um, super concerned about, you know, keeping track of it all, but just so that I can be aware of what's going on and um, kind of know more what the, the symptoms and signs that I'm having mean. Um, so that's, that's where I am with that, and um, yeah, that's pretty much my update. So right as of right now, I'm on cycle day three, um, so, you know, at the beginning of the second cycle, and um, we'll, see, we'll see how things go this month. So I'm really excited to be starting this journey on here, and um, looking forward to getting, know, getting to know some other TTCers. Um, and yeah, so it's going to be fun. Um, so until next video, bye.